Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. For today, we're going to be doing part two of my home decor haul. If you have not seen the first one, I'll pop up a card somewhere on here for you guys to check out part one, which was more like things for my living room and my kitchen. Today, we're going to be sharing with you more of my bath items and some items for my new bedroom that I'm going to be transforming and showing you guys the before and after here on this channel. So let's get right into the items. First, starting off with my bathroom. Now, my curtain that I have in there, I absolutely love. It's just very light and reminds me like of a spa feel. I absolutely loved it. I got it when I got married. I had it on my bridal registry. But the bath ensemble that went with it, I just didn't love it. It was like a deep brown, and I didn't personally feel like it went with the whole shower curtain that well. So I've been just looking and looking every time I go to Home Goods, every time I go to Home Sense, and finally I found something. So this ensemble here is from Cynthia Rowley. I just think it's elegant. It's that nice like light wood shade and then it has white detailing on it with the nickel um, with the nickel pump, which of course matches with all of my appliances that I have in the bathroom. So I just picked up one A soap dispenser and this one was $9.99. And then this caddy I thought was really cute that I keep on the surface. I tend to like to keep like toothpaste, um, any extra soaps or lotions out on the counter, but I don't like it to look cluttered or messy. So I felt this was perfect because it has three different compartments in it. And then it has this little base shelf, which I can put whatever me or my husband need, even keeping Mila's little toothbrush in there. It's nice, easy access for when we need to brush her teeth. And this one was only $7.99, so that was really good. And the final piece that I got, I like to display like soaps and little flowers on top of my toilet bowl. Toilet bowls are not always beautiful and not always fancy, but I do like to glam it up a little bit. So this guy here, this tray was only $9.99 and it matches with the whole rest of the ensemble. So now I have something that matches. It looks really pretty with the shower curtain and it has more of like a spa feel. I don't love my bathroom. We this is a rental property, so I can't do anything I want to the bathroom and gutting it and things like that. Once we move into our future home, I will have a lot more freedom to do the design in terms of the base of the home. But for now, just in my home decor, I'll customize it and make it as much my own as I can. And then the final piece that I got for the bathroom was this beautiful orchid. I absolutely love these. Every time I go into a spa or just think spa, I feel like you always see these plants in there plants or flowers. <laughs> They're just absolutely beautiful to me. It makes you feel like you're in a serenity. And like I said, from the other pieces that I bought, I want it to look, since it's the brown color scheme in there, like on the walls and things like that, which I cannot change in the tile, I decided to go with it and kind of just make it my own. So this one was only, let's see, $14.99, which is actually a really good deal because if you have seen these, I've seen the cheapest probably about $24.99. So when I saw this price, I knew I had to get it. It has a very simple white base and it looks absolutely perfect on top of a little shelving system that I have in my bathroom since I need as much storage as possible. And this just kind of glams that up a bit. All right, so now on to the bedroom. Like I said, I'm redoing the bedroom. I'm redoing a whole bunch of things. So for my furniture, I'm looking to actually change out the knobs. It is new furniture, but the knobs on it, just to go with the whole look that I'm going for, like a rustic glam, that's kind of my style that I love best. So I found these I found these draw pulls at Home Goods for only $7.99, and luckily they had three packs of them, which is exactly what I needed. I've seen beautiful ones, but they've never had enough of what I needed. And they're just so pretty. They're white, but then they're just stressed. So it gives it that nice, soft, vintage look. And then the distressing, the color that peeks through, matches perfect with my dressers and my nightstand. So I will be changing the knobs and doing like a revamp of that. I'll show you guys how I do that as well. Next for the bedroom, I actually picked up some coffee table books. I've been on the hunt for these. They can get quite expensive. So I try to find things that are usually on clearance because it truly is just for decorative purposes, not necessarily that you're going to be using it. And it's going to be on my... Um, I'm going to be putting them on my nightstands. So the first one that I picked up is a Vogue Christian Dior, and it's just the small one. So this one will probably be like a topper. And this one was only on clearance for only $7. The next one that I got is called Remodelista, 
and I thought this one looks really nice and pretty and actually probably will begin flipping through and reading it because a few of the pages that I saw definitely are up my alley and giving me some home decor inspiration. This one was on clearance for $15. And then the last one that I picked up was actually on sale for $15 as well. And it's called Designed in White. So any white home decor that you're looking for, I'm into that whole light look. So I see a lot of things just looking from the back that go with like that farmhouse, cottage, vintage type of feel. So I usually like to mix that type of I usually like to mix that type of home style and add a little bit of glam to it. The final pieces that I'm going to be showing you, I'm just going to kind of be showing you clips of them because I cannot lift it here. They're really big and they're actually two mirrors. I've been on the search for a full length mirror for my bedroom for a while now and I feel like the perfect one I found, it goes really great with those knobs that I showed you. It just adds a nice glam vintage touch to the room and it's a full length mirror but it's a unique oval shape so it's not something you're going to find or see everywhere. It has lots of intricate details on the side which I love and make it nice and personal. And the final and second piece is a mirror for Mila's nursery. If you guys have watched my nursery tour, you know her color color scheme is blush and gold, which when I decided to do her nursery was not on trend, not popular. I tend to always do that with like themes and color schemes. I pick things before they're even super on trend. So unfortunately for me, I have to spend hours and hours researching to find things in what I need. But now you can find blush and gold everywhere you look, including home goods. So when I found this blush oval mirror, same thing, it has a very vintage feel with the Baroque style. I absolutely knew I had to pick it up and it was only $40, so that was really great, as well as a discount on top of that, so it worked out perfect. And I will be using it once I transition her room actually to a toddler room. So you guys can stay tuned for that in a couple of months. When I do her room, I'll definitely be taking you guys on a tour and transformation of that. As always, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite piece that I picked up from either Hall 1 or Hall 2. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye!